today we are going to see a topic that is measures of central tendency the concept of measure of central tendency is the term measure of central tendency can be described as a single value that is used to define a set of data by classifying the central position within that set of data this is the reason the measures of central tendency are also known as the measures of central location it is also categorized as summary statistics the objective of measure of central tendency is to present a brief picture of data it helps in giving a brief description of the main feature of the entire data essential for comparison it helps in reducing the data to a single value that is used for doing comparative studies helps in decision making most of the companies use measuring central tendency to plan and develop their business economy formulation of policies many governments rely on this medium while forming any policies there are three types of central tendency mean median and mode firstly we will see mean the mean is the most popular and well known measure of central tendency it can be used with both discrete and continuous data although its use is most often with continuous data it is denoted by x bar formula of mean is sum of all terms upon total number of terms secondly we will see median median is the middle value of the data set in which the data set is arranged in the ascending order or in descending order when the data set contains an even number of values then the median value of the data set can be formed by taking the mean of the middle two values there are two formulas for median for odd number n plus 1 by second observation and for even number n by 2 plus n by 2 plus 1th term observation upon 2 lastly we will see mode the mode represents the frequently occurring value in the data set sometimes the data set may contain multiple modes and in some cases it does not contain any mode at all formula for mode is l plus f1 minus fm upon 2f1 minus fm minus f2 into h now we will see requisites of good average first it should be simple to compute second it should be easy to understand third it should be rigidly defined fourth it should be representative of all the items fifth it should not be unduly affected by extreme values sixth it should be capable of further algebraic treatment and here it ends thank you for watching the video